Hello everybody and welcome, this is Sweet Poppy Stencils and today we're going to be using the faux dragon leather back plate and the wonderful dragon stamp set. So my name is Debbie Watson, I'm a DT member for Sweet Poppy Stencils. So here's the card today. As you can see, I call this the dragon eye is watching you. So let's go and have some fun and create this card. So you've got the dragon stamp set, the faux dragon leather back plate, a few oxides, a VersaFine black ink for the sentiment and an embossing folder. So using an A5 size smooth 200 GSM stamping card, place that on your craft mat, affix the back plate and then use the three colours of oxides today to create that tone. So I've got antique linen, peeled paint and frayed burlap. So these three colours I find make a really good dragon skin tone. So just build up the colour until you're happy with the tone. Remove then the back plate and what you want to do then is trim this to size to fit your embossing folder. And I'm using a brick pattern here. So once that fits your folder, pop it through your embossing machine and it creates a wonderful brick effect to your dragon leather. So seven centimeters from the top and about six and a half to the middle, make a small mark of the pencil. Then be careful, use your craft knife and create a diagonal cross. So you, what you want to do is color the back of this. I've used antique linen here and then flip back to the right side. So take a pencil and gently curl back those triangular flaps. And this gives you that peeled back. To create the dragon eye, take a smaller white piece of stamp smooth stamping card and use your VersaFine ink pad and stamp the dragon eye. I've coloured this with watercolour pens and I find it useful just to have a scrap of paper to test the colour before you apply it to your work. I wanted a glossy glass eye finish so using the glossy accent I've outlined the eyeball area and then infilled with the glossy ass accent and I put that aside to, to dry overnight. At first it looks cloudy but once it's dry it will dry really clear. So once that's dry take the antique linen and colour around the eye just to fill in the whiteness of the card. Stick this to the back of the card using double sided tape and you can see the eye peeping through. In the final stages we just want to create a sentiment. This is a 10 centimeter by 4 centimeter white card distressed with antique linen and I've stamped over with the scales in the same colour. Versafine black use the stentiments in the stamp set and stamp these. I've then placed this on a piece of mirror card, leaving an even margin all round and popped foam pads on the rear. And then peel off the protective backings and stick this to the front. So the last construction, add double sided tape to the back, pop this onto your mirror card and then the mirror card onto your base card. So that's it. Um, simple, why not give it a try? So thank you for joining me. My name is Debbie Watts and thank you from Sweet Poppy Stencils.